We use the H2A workers on our farm, have for about 14, 15 years, uh, been very good for us. And uh, uh, if it wasn't for them, I don't know if uh, uh, we could do it. Uh, our our uh, local labor is just almost uh, zero. Uh, this year, we've had problems with uh, uh, getting our housing inspected that we have to provide for our workers. Uh, that's one of the requirements in using H2A workers is to provide, provide them uh, housing and uh, uh, travel expense and things like that. The H2A immigration process is due to a shortage of labor with some of our farmers. Um, my understanding is the farmers that are going to need labor for the upcoming season, uh, they typically start early in the fall and they submit an application through a federal registry uh, and then that information is uh, downloaded, for lack of a better word, from a state agency, Arkansas Department of Workforce Services and they take that information and they go out and actually conduct an inspection of the housing uh, to make sure that it meets all minimum requirements. The problem we ran into this year was that the uh, uh, housing inspectors, which is our uh, uh, workforce labor here in Arkansas, to uh, get the uh, job done because they were just overrun by applications uh, due to the lack of labor. It, it was brought to our attention that the Department of Workforce Labor uh, were struggling with getting all the inspections done. Uh, uh, they uh, were anticipating more applications this year. I think they have trended up in the last couple of years. Uh, and then you factor in COVID and, and other factors that I may not be aware of. And, and they uh, were concerned and worried they weren't going to be able to get to all the inspections. So uh, Secretary Ward offered help. Uh, so we felt like it was an opportunity for us to step up. So we worked with the Arkansas Department of Workforce Services we met with them and determined that the best help we could provide, at least on the front end, is to conduct the field inspections for them. We have a group of 29 ag specialist field inspectors. We have another group of three uh, produce safety specialty crop inspectors. Uh, so we initially started with those two groups. Uh, we've received over 150 applications to date and conducted over 100 of those inspections so far and submitted them back to Workforce Services. Because of the Department of Ag, we came into this process of getting our housing inspected. We were able to get our uh, inspections done on a timely manner to be able to get our labor here in a timely fashion. You know, I've heard numbers of uh, the cases doubling in, in Arkansas of doing this, so I hope our our elected officials or governor or whoever it takes to keep the Department of Ag on there. They're already out there. They know the farmers. Uh, uh, so to me, they're the ones that we need to help and I hope that continues. I feel like and I hope we uh, sped the process up a little bit, made it a little more uh, uh, streamlined for uh, the farmer and uh, it's a good opportunity for us to serve our community. So as long as it's helpful, we are willing and, and, and would be glad to continue to help out with these inspections.